Here we are, uh, Miami to New York dot com. Two of the principals, um, Hi Marison, interviewing Sean Corcoran about the the train ride and tell us Sean why there isn't some of the great videos that we got up yet and a little bit about them. Well, we've had great um, people following it and commenting and all the rest of it. So we, we really haven't finished the journey. Um, it's Miami to New York is the hub of what we're about, the experiment, the project, whatever you want to call it. We still don't actually know what the thing is that we're working on. Um, it's video, it's photographs, we're capturing uh, encounters with people, it's like a portrait of America. We don't really know what it's going to become. We're excited. We're really actually only in the middle of it because we've gotten off the train, we're in Philadelphia, at Hyde's house, we've been at the meeting house, the Imaginarium, We've done a screening last night on a 12 foot by 12 foot backlit screen with three monitors, a laptop, Michael Giorgio, Mary, Elijah, myself, Hi, just five of us. <laughs> I asked Hi, did you want to make 10 phone calls and we have 10 people? No, whoever comes, whoever comes, if it's me and you, that'll be fine too. So, which was nice. So, and um, so the whole, we scrambled all the wires. Hi had to collect the computer from the, from the studio here. So we're lugging equipment and everything and projection screens and at, at exactly 8 p.m. the whole thing worked. We had internet, we had this, we had that and we had a great night. A few beers which was great. So really we've gotten off the train at Philadelphia and we're getting back on the train tomorrow morning at I think 7 in the morning for one and a half hours from here to New York which is going to be a fast fast train 110 plus miles an hour I'm sure with people who are holding briefcases and looking straight forward and getting off the train in New York. So uh, then we've got um, the day in New York, which which we've got to remember our batteries and our uh, cards for some memory on our computers, on our cameras, and who knows. Uh, after that, we jump on a plane and and beyond to Ireland, and we. You don't know what we're doing in Ireland, maybe we're going to go to the west, maybe we're going to do some islands, maybe we're going to stay in the studio, maybe we're going to do some editing. Um, but here you have it. Uh, sorry we haven't posted anything in the last couple of days, but as you can imagine we've been uh, carrying <laughs> carrying lots of luggage and equipment and tripods and uh, having done fun. Thank you out there for following. Okay, I wanted to say something but Sean didn't give me a chance to jump in. So I'm going to say something. <laughs> Here, Sean. <laughs> so, uh, I think that I, I found a theme that I really like uh, for Miami to New York dot com, and that is um, there's this great scene in Annie Hall uh, where they're standing in line, and somebody says something about the medium is a message, and he gives his interpretation, and Woody Allen has Marshall McLuhan in line with him to tell the guy, you don't know what you're talking about, that's not what I meant, etc., etc. But um, what I've been thinking about is that the train, perhaps a second only to the fact that it gets you place to place, in style, um, is that it's a means of communication. On a train, you sit, you talk to people, you meet people, there's no rush. It's not like you're at a wedding with all your friends and the band's playing so loud you can't talk to them and there's too many to talk to anyway. Um, this is, you're seated in this train and you know, you may be going New York to Philly, after which there probably won't be that much communication. It's more just a place to place thing. But when you go Miami to New York, um, you get to meet some incredible people and we were fortunate enough to get just loads of amazing interviews and communications with just some very, very wonderful people. Um, uh, a, a woman um, probably a little younger than I or my age whose father was uh, a master ma uh, magician, a uh, slate of hand artist, uh, uh, Blackstone would come over to her house and she'd play to visit with her dad and she'd play with uh, his children. Uh, he won the Harry Houdini Award more
more times than anything anybody else. Uh, this is Arlene. Now. Arlene, yes. yes. Um, and Arlene's going to get us videos of her father doing the sleight of hand that would become part of the trip. Um, we met a gentleman who was uh, an interview who was a real expert on promotion. He told us that what he did was promote colleges. So if you were number 10 in Newsweek magazine and wanted to get to number one, you came to him and he would help do it. That was Keith. Keith, yes. Yeah. yeah. And uh, we met because he had an Apple iPhone and I started talking to him about the iPhone. We had incredible conversations with very high level engineers uh, who were on yeah, the train absolutely. because uh, Amtrak is going to buy new trains So one of the two companies that they'll buy it from took this ride from them and they added an extra car and they could see that we love train rides and, and too and we talked to them so they invited us to, the, to their private uh, cabin. Caboose, even. Caboose, yeah. Today's caboose. Yeah. Um, not yesterday's caboose. Yeah. Today's caboose. Yeah. And uh, we took this five hours of video footage out the rear window of the train. So Alfred Hitchcock is beginning to play uh, more of a role in our film than most people understand. Um, because we left at high noon, um, uh, which is another movie, but Alfred Hitchcock was North by Northwest which was Cary Grant and Elizabeth Marie Saint and to me the most impressive scene was either the uh, scene that is up on uh, Miami to New York the scene of the train buzzing Cary Grant where he has to hit the ground in this desert in Kansas this crossroads desert um, but there's a scene of him riding on the train and the train is doing a drive-by shooting of, of America, and that's what we attempted. So that was an Alfred Hitchcock movie, and the other Alfred Hitchcock movie I think is called Rear Window, um, but something about a window, so I'll have to look it up and get my facts straight. So we haven't had time to edit it. We found a minor hitch in that I bought a new Sony HD camera, which is about as big as my fist, but the most powerful thing in the world takes great video, but Sony has its own extension file, and, and it's going to take us real time to edit that down into a file that we can upload. So, American Video Magazine signing off, all present and counted for Yes, sir. <laughs> Stay tuned.